Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Kenyana and this is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting, so law of attraction, law of assumption, and mental health. So if those are your vibes, welcome. Let's get into this, guys. So watch till the end because you're not going to want to miss out on this one, all right? I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step how to manifest SP extremely fast and how this worked for me. So the biggest thing that helped me when it came to manifesting my SP extremely fast was I started to really focus on the things that made me happy and focus on the things that really brought out more of my personality and uh, my enjoyment in life. Because here's the kicker, guys. When you manifest your SP, what a lot of, like, people always focus on the getting the SP part, you know, like getting that um, engagement, getting that person to say they want to marry you, getting that person to spend the rest of your life with. People focus so much on the getting that they're not realizing, like, it's so much, this is Febreze, if you guys were wondering what it was. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's really, really important to realize like you can find the person of your dreams. You can be with your SP. You can marry your SP. You can even have kids and build a family with your SP. But what's never going to change is that you're always going to have that person, which is you, who's there in this relationship, who is going to want things outside of this relationship. You know, the relationship itself is, of course, the goal, but the more you focus on the goal itself and less of what comes after it, the more you stay on just the goal. You're just goal setting at that point. You're not really like actually getting anything done. So like the first thing you want to do is start like really analyzing how are you viewing this situation with your SP when you're when it comes to manifesting them? Is it just, oh, I wish they would talk more. Oh, I wish they would contact me. Ah, oh, I wish we would get out of no contact. Is this an ex? Like, what is the situation at hand? And, and what is the goal that you've been focused on so much? And for most of you guys, it's probably contact or getting your ex back because y'all had a fallout or it's somebody you don't even know. <laughs> but either way, figure out what it is that makes you want this person or why you want this person to begin with what happened, what was the situation. And then let's get past the situation now, because the thing is we manifest what we are and we, and we do that by living in our end. Okay. So this is number two. Once you identify what it is that you're like, okay, this is the situation. This is what I want. Then I want to get, I want you to get to step two. Step two is really, really figuring out what does that end look like for you? Because you can marry people. People marry people all around the world. People they fell in love with, people that they had fast flings with. It doesn't really matter. Like marriage itself isn't hard. Getting someone to be loyal to you isn't hard. Uh, someone loving you unconditionally isn't difficult. People make it seem that it's difficult, but you're not hard to love. Stop saying you're hard to love. Watch how you communicate. Watch how you talk to other people. You're not hard to love. You are actually very easy to love. People love loving you because you love exists in you. So why would they not love you? Okay. So it's important to identify after you identify, okay, this is what I want with this person. You can't forget about you. You got to figure out what is it that you exactly love? What is it that you exactly enjoy? What is the things that you exactly know for a fact when you have this person? I'm still going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like for me, I'm a gamer. Okay. I like gaming period. There's nothing to talk about. That's not going to change. My husband, love him to death, but I also love gaming. I love my daughter. I love being a mom. I'm a nurturer. I'm a cancer. It's kind of part of the process. Okay. Um, I love my home. I love my own space. I love solitude. So that second step is really you figuring out you because you is not going nowhere. You're going to be with you for the rest of your life. So, <laughs> you know, Think past just the marriage. Like, what is it that you know you would love to work on? You already got your house. You already have your, your marriage. You already have your kid. You already have your family with your person. What's next? Think on that. And whatever that is, whether it be your career, because some people are just like me. They're workaholics. They love their career. They just want to drown themselves in it. And when they're not drowning themselves in that, they want to spend time with family. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. If that's not what it is, if it's watching soap operas, if it's over here braiding hair, if it's doing nails, if it's going on spa days, even if it's traveling, whatever that is for you, start rendering, start focusing on that because you aren't going anywhere. You can manifest them extremely fast by simply just living in your end, which you can confirm is going to be your end because you know it is something you love. It is something you like. It is something that you feel powerfully drawn to. And so how can you get that wrong? 
You are you. You've always been you. Yes, we evolve. Yes, we change. Yes, our desires change. But you know yourself better than anyone else. So I encourage you as you get to the second step to really, really dig deep in who you are so you can manifest your SP. Number three is that when you are manifesting your SP, guys, it is essential once you get past identifying what it is you actually want with the SP. Is it marriage? Is it communication? Get out of no contact. And once you get past, okay, I know what I want with myself in the future, no matter what, whether I'm with my SP or not. Now you need to figure out, okay, what is it that my SP loves? What is it that my SP loves to do? What is my what is it that my SP wants to do? Okay, whatever that thing is, everybody's person is different. Some people are like risky. They're like risk takers. They're like people who like uh, jumping out of planes and shit like that and riding on motorcycles and crazy things. Like let's say you're calmer and your person likes all that, okay? Maybe you can find a middle ground. Find a middle ground on what it is that they love and what it is that you love and see if you can put together a vacation, an event, a situation where you guys put both of those on the playing field. So for example, let's say you want to have a kid. You don't have a kid, but you want to have a kid with your person. Okay. I encourage you guys, if you're, if your your person's like, he's like, I want a boy and you're like, I want a girl. Well, I encourage you to go do things like go together and shop for boy and girl gifts, uh, or neutral colors, do things that in the actual 3d is a form of acting as if, okay, before it happens, because that is exactly how it happens. Every time that I manifested extremely fast is because of acting as if. And so I had this period of time in my life before I was pregnant. It was not a long period, but uh, it was actually a really, before I got pregnant with my daughter, I was going through a lot. It was like a lot of negative juju, okay? But the point of the matter is, is I, I went through so much internally that it started to show up in the physical. And um, I think... I don't know if it was just my brain playing tricks on me or what it was, but I didn't know if I had a miscarriage or if I just was bleeding because I felt wholeheartedly it was one of those things where you feel like you're pregnant, but you probably really aren't. You're just, it's just your period. And so I remember I went to the ER and the lady who was actually seeing me, um, the doctor, she was pregnant and she was pregnant, pregnant, like the belly was showing and everything. And, um, you know, we did the ultrasound, we did all that. And, you know, they, they're basically letting us know, like, she's fine. There's nothing going on like that. And she just basically asked, like, do you guys want to have a kid? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay, well, I'm going to put pixie dust on you, pixie pregnancy dust on you. And she was very positive and optimistic and genuine and not judgmental or anything of that nature. And I kid you not, it was like, I think a month or two, a month or two months later, somewhere around that time frame, where, um... I, I realized I was pregnant. And so I did get what I want because I was focused on it so much. I, I, that prior to that actual occasion, I got what I want because I was always thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant or I'm going to have a baby or whatever, whatever. So yeah, that's like living proof that you can manifest exactly what you want by just focusing on it. And so by bringing in your desire with your person's desire is how you can get the 3D to adjust and to shift to what you want it to be, okay? So I I, I manifest extremely fast by just really living in my end a lot. And I show a lot of freaking flip and flop and gratitude, okay? That's it, that's it. Like if someone said, Kim, what did you do to manifest all the things you... I live in the end and I say thank you. That's it. I know, right? I live in the end and I say thank you. That's exactly what I do. That's how I get everything I want. There's not been a thing that I have thanked God or just thanked the universe for that I haven't received. And I receive it quickly too, which is, it's, it's, she'll, it's, it's so crazy. Like I remember the days I went when I would communicate, oh, I love a gaming setup. I love having two monitors. I'd love to have a big ring light. I'd love to have a mic. I'd love to have this. I'd love to have that. I have it all. I have it all. Like, I'm so happy, so blessed, so grateful. And that is exactly why I have everything I want. Because I came at every single thing that I want 
already saying I'm grateful for it and that I'm, 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 I'm happy and I'm content and I'm blessed and thank you universe and thank you God. And that's how I got here. And so if you guys want to manifest extremely fast, you got to live in your end. You got to know what it is you want. Do not give up on yourself because, oh, I want to manifest the SP so badly. That's of course the ideal focus. That's, that could be the folk. That's cool. But if you're trying to manifest extremely fast, you got to come from the end. And that's the only way you get there. All right, guys. So if this was helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Grab that Manifest Everything journal if you have not already. That link is in the description below. In this journal, there's powerful techniques that are going to help you manifest extremely fast and powerful affirmations. So you should definitely click that. If you guys need any coaching, you can click my booking links below. I do offer great coaching, 30-minute coaching, whatever works for you, hour coaching, and we can get you to the nitty-gritty results that you want with your SP. So I'm excited to help you guys out with that. So book below. And if you haven't joined the VIP Soul Jimmy Likes group, I don't know what you're doing, but you can click that join link as well. In there, there's 12-part series, member-only stuff that you will have access to. So if you were sitting here looking at my videos like, oh my God, I can't watch it. Well, you should become a member so you can. Like, Don't miss out on the goody, juicy things that we love to share in our lives and in our group. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and as I always tell you guys, go get your moolah and go get your boo. Bye!